In my attempt to fight for you guys, a stainless steel water bottle that provides the best bang for the buck, I've gathered water bottles from four different companies and have fully tested them to see which one retains water temperature the best. In front of me, I have bottles from Hydro Flask, Mirror Brand, Lamosa, and Stanley. All of these bottles feature 18-8 stainless steel and a double wall design, which makes it very difficult to compare one against another in terms of construction. What we will be looking at today is each company's claims to be able to keep hot water hot and cold water cold. Looking at marketing for the Hydro Flask, Lamosa, and Mira bottle, we see that each company claims that their bottles can keep cold water cold for 24 hours and hot water hot for 12 hours. Stanley's advertising actually differs depending on which bottle you decide on. The 18 ounce bottle claims to be able to keep drinks iced for 28 and cold for 8, the 25 iced for 36 and cold for 11, the 36 ounce iced for 48 and cold for 13 hours. Although some people claim to use hot water in their Stanley bottles, Stanley themselves does not make any claims about this, so I will not be testing these bottles with any hot water. For this video, I set up three tests to see how well the bottles stand up to the manufacturer's claims. The first test was to see how well these bottles retain hot water. For this test, I filled up the Hydro Flask Mimosa and Mira bottle with hot water from my water dispenser, which is set at 164 degrees Fahrenheit. I measured the temperature and left the bottles for the 12 hours that each company claimed. Temperature was measured again at the end of the 12 hours and the percentage of temperature change was calculated. As you can see from this test, the Lamosa actually did the best with the least amount of temperature change over the 12 hours, followed by the Hydro Flask, then the Mira bottle. Next, we move on to the cold water test. For this, I filled the bottles up with water at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Initial water temperature was measured and the bottles were left for 24 hours. At the end of the 24 hours, water temperature was measured and calculated for temperature change with the exception of the Stanley bottle. I tested the 25 ounce Stanley bottle, which only claims to be able to keep water cold for 11 hours, so I checked it at 11 hours, sealed it back up, and checked it again at 12 hours just to see how it fares against the other competition. As you can see from the cold water test, the Hydro Flask actually did the best, followed by the Lamosa, Mira bottle, and finally Stanley. It should be noted that the Stanley bottle had the same water temperature at both 11 and 12 hours. Since the Stanley also claimed to be able to keep drinks iced for 36 hours, I decided to include an ice test for this brand. To do this, I filled the bottle up with ice, measured the weight, left the bottle for 36 hours, came back, dumped the melted water out, and measured the final weight. This would ultimately show me how much ice has melted over the 36 hour time period. As you can see from the results, over the 36 hour time period, about 7 ounces or 33% of ice has melted. So at the end of the day, the Lamosa is best with hot water and the Hydro Flask is best with cold water. But in terms of which bottle you should buy, you should really consider your application and what you're using these bottles for. I personally never bring hot drinks, so the hot water test is a complete wash for me. But if this is important to you, the Stanley should automatically be taken out of the race because really Stanley doesn't make any claims about hot water, so just forget about it. Another thing to think about is warranty. These three brands right here, the Stanley, Lamosa, and Hydro Flask, all offer a lifetime warranty. The Mirror Bottle, on the other hand, only offers a one-year warranty. So if you're one of the people who care about this, obviously go with one of these three brands right here. On the upside though, the Mirror Bottle is generally the cheapest that you can find among these four brands. This 40 ounce bottle only costs around $20 and is cheaper than what you can buy in terms of 20 ounces in these three brands. If you were to ask me which bottle I would buy, I would say almost without a doubt the Mirror Bottle just because it is the cheapest. And at the end of the day, the results were very similar among all brands. So it really comes down to price and I guess that warranty. I don't really care about the one year warranty, so I'm fine with this. I would say that I'm not really liking the Stanley as much as I thought I would just because it's more expensive than maybe the Lamosa and it is definitely more expensive than the Mira bottle just depending on what kind of sale you're finding this one at. But in terms of price, it gave the worst results among all brands. So I'm not very happy with this bottle right now. If you were to step up and just really consider these three brands right here, the Hydro Flask, Lamosa, and the Mira brand, and you want the lifetime warranty, so obviously you're down to these two brands. I would say that I personally would go with the Lamosa, just because if you care about hot water, obviously this one is better, but if you care about cold water, the Hydro Flask did better. It may have been a 3% difference, but if you look at the actual hard numbers, it was one degree difference. So I would say that these two are a wash in terms of 
quality or in terms of their ability to hold water temperatures. So let's say that that is a wash. So it comes down to pricing. The Lamosa is generally cheaper, so that gets the point. But the Hydro Flask has way more choices. They have more sizes, more lids, pretty much there are so many more options than on the Lamosa. The Lamosa comes in two different sizes, actually four sizes in two different shapes. So in terms of design, there isn't very much, but like I said, I would generally go for the, the Lamosa just because it is cheaper. So at the end of the day though, these are really four great bottles. You're not gonna be mad or upset about any of the ones that you buy. I like them all. I just like some more than the other. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share it, comment down below with your thoughts or any comments that you have. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at the Upper Left USA. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.